Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I want to start this one out with a story and this does tie into the video, so just stick with me. And this is going to be about my good friend, Valentina. One of my favorite people that I have ever met. But every time I talk about her on the channel, people leave in the comments like, oh, you just talk about her because she's hot. I'm like, guys, this is fitness. Everybody is hot. That's why they're in fitness, right? And me, I'm, I'm not in fitness. I just run my mouth on YouTube, but there's a lot of people in fitness that I wouldn't even want to talk to because they suck. But Valentina, she is an awesome person. And the first time that I met her was at the LA Fit Expo. And it was her, myself, and Bryant, who is the sales director for PES. And usually when you're at a fitness expo, you have different people to relieve you throughout the day so you don't work the entire day. But at this expo, it was just us three working all three days, every single shift. And we crushed it. It went great. We couldn't have asked for a better turnout. PES is the best. So at the end of the thing, we're like, we're gonna reward ourselves. We're gonna go out to a nice fine dining experience. Now, I'll give Valentina a little bit of slack because she's, she's from Canada. She doesn't know all the American restaurants, but she is a foodie. So she's on Yelp. She's looking for a good place and we're going back and forth and we're like, let's go to a buffet. So the first one she finds is this place and she goes, let's go to Golden Coral. They have five stars. And Bryant and I just look at each other and we're like, Golden Corral. That that's where you want to go, huh? Let me be honest. I had the stereotype coming in here that so every like the reputation for Golden Corral is like not very good food. I'm shocked. Yeah. It's really good. I can't wait to see your channel. I mean, Golden Corral is uh, it's actually really good. One to ten. Like a uh, six. Really? Yeah, I'm not that hungry. I'm probably an eight. On our way to Golden Corral with Rich Homie Corey, of course. What do you think? How do you feel about this challenge right now? I'm pretty excited about it actually, and uh, I never thought I would be this excited about Golden Corral, but right. I mean, don't get kicked out of Golden Corral. I love it. I love it. So. That's really cool. I love it too. This thing's gonna fall over. Gosh dang it! All right, Rich Homie Corey, I'm calling you out already. We get here, and Corey's like, "I'm gonna start out with a salad and some vegetables." Look at this tray: pizza, fried chicken, and what happened to the salad? Oh man, uh, meatloaf pizza. <laughs> I could find the salad. I think I'm gonna start out with salad. All right, I gotta get some food. So, what's the challenge? Is it just gonna be plate for plate, as much so. all you can eat. Like, let's give up, give ourselves like an hour. All you can eat in an hour. So Sounds seven, seven ten right now. All right, Love buffet, right? <laughs> so we're gonna start out pretty simple: salad and oranges. I have no idea why I'm doing this. I think it's time for some real food. End goals: dessert. Yeah, I usually start out light and then go all in and then finish the dessert. All right, all right. So my strategy okay. is always try everything. So I don't get a whole lot of, because I know I'm gonna try everything up there. So we got like baked beans, mac and cheese, cornbread. Was this a uh, toasted ravioli? Mm -hmm. Fried chicken and jalapeno poppers. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, not bad at all. Really couldn't say that I know your time. Stuffed ravioli. This is probably the best thing I've had so far. Oh, yeah. This is phenomenal. Yeah. First real plate of food done. Again, I'm not even that hungry, which is it's kind of scary, but I'm not gonna let Corey beat me. So if you guys, you guys always ask me for calorie counts on this, you know, I don't really know, but I'm gonna try to guess. And the good thing about that is if I'm wrong, which I will be, you guys will let me know in the comments. So I'll say probably about Maybe like 1,200 for this. We'll go with that, 1,200. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to hit that up. Yeah, I forgot lettuce, but I got a salad as well, so. All right, look at you being super healthy. I'm an idiot. Why? Instead of salsa on yeah. my tacos, yeah, I put shrimp cocktail sauce. <laughs> How is it? it tastes like crap. <laughs> So this second plate isn't actually that big. I would say this is probably only what, maybe like, oh dude, where say did that 800 come? calories, the enchiladas, they just put them up there. Oh, I know, the I'm thing is, plate four, this is the best thing at Golden Corral. I don't know why I haven't got, I'm, I probably should get one with each plate, the rolls. Okay. Amazing, so we got the rolls. I got the, like the most poverty taco ever, just cause everything was picked over. And then some like, I don't know, was that chicken? Like, I think uh, it was like- Bourbon Street chicken. Bourbon Street chicken, yep. sweet potato fries, enchilada. This will, this will be a good one. I'm gonna hate my wife tomorrow. So good. The sun won't shine if you're terrified. Yeah, it's all good. Guys, I can't lie. I'm uh, I'm pretty full, and this is only two real plates down. So, 
we got our work cut out for us. That Rice crispy looks so good though, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna finish this one quick. Chicken, pizza, toasted ravioli, and then this was like, uh, did you see that they had pot roast up there? So I, think I, I think that's what this is. Fullness scale? Yeah. I would say I'm about, well, I came in at like, I wasn't very hungry. Um, I'm probably like eight or nine on fullness. Gotta push on through. <laughs> Do it for the views. Tommy Corey has already moved on to the dessert. Me, have not had any yet, so I feel like that's gonna be the next step. Now hopefully, I only have one because I'm not feeling, I mean, I would say I'm all right, but I, I definitely don't need any more food, but you can't come here and not get dessert. I'm not gonna lie to you, this might get ignorant. Don't you hurry. Watching my figure. <laughs> doing something. Me, on the other hand, as you can see, not so much. Pretty much went to the dessert line and got one of everything. Chocolate chip cookie, carrot cake, different different types of brownies. I think this is like a cinnamon roll, banana pudding, rice crispy treat, some stuff. I don't even know what it is, but I guarantee you it's going to be good. This is where my appetite starts to pick up. So I came in, not very hungry, ate all that, wasn't very hungry. Now I'm like, let's eat. Sometimes there's problems you can't We are going to taste test everything. Here is the carrot cake. It's actually really good. I was expecting it to be like, it tastes like day old. It tastes like they just made it. Okay, chocolate chip cookie. You guys know I don't discriminate against chocolate chip cookies. Did you get one of these? No, I got this one though. You had a double chocolate? So, chocolate chip cookie, very good. Double chocolate chip cookie, not as good. Okay, good I'm, to know. Let me know what you think. A little dry, mm -hmm. not as fresh, but just a typical man. I had a cinnamon cookie earlier. Yeah? Yeah, yeah this one's good. I've never had a bad chocolate brownie in my life, have you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can actually mess this up. Brownie, you gotta get the brownie. Just for good measure, we'll try this other brownie too, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. And finally, third brownie. Very rich, okay. but damn good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, uh, I'm feeling it, especially with all that all that sugar. So we're gonna move on to something a little bit less chocolatey. I think this is banana pudding. It's really good. Yeah. So I don't know what this is exactly. I think this is like a, a cinnamon roll. I don't know what it is, but it's good. It's like I think I think it's almost like fudge. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> How you feeling over there, Rich Homie? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be able to knock out this dessert tray pretty easily. We'll see. Everything. Yeah, oh my. Cake is the brownies. The brownies. They're so good. There's bread pudding. The bread pudding is what I had. Yeah. I had like a whole plate full of just sugar, and I should be like sick right now, and I'm like, I might go up for seconds. Good. good. And you can tell. You can tell that it's fresh. Yeah, good. And the best part is the service. The service is the best part here. You're close. I remember those days. Yeah, I remember day day, a layer of Reese's and then a layer of Reese's brownies. Oh, yeah. oh my, it was amazing. I graduated and now I still, I work as an accountant. Oh, okay. Yeah, so much different than what I do on YouTube, <laughs> yeah. but it's nice. I like having the balance of the both. Yeah. Are you done? I'm done, man. Dude, I might go in again. I'm jealous you got ice cream. I didn't get any ice cream. Oh, man. <laughs> huh? Hand dipped ice cream, huh? So yeah, show me what I should get. Uh, well, we, look, we have cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, um, butter pecan. Oh my gosh. We have all the soft serves here. Okay. 
All right, well, I can't leave here without getting ice cream now. Right. You talk me into it, Jennifer. Duh. It'll be you that I need to make. So don't you worry about a thing. That'll keep you busy for a minute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're going to send me over the edge with this one. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. Have a sweet life. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. <laughs> We've been here too long anyway, so I'm going to eat this so fast, all right? Let's see, what is this, uh, cookies and cream? Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we're, we're going mint chocolate chip. Dude, this is like legit ice cream. Yeah. What are the macros on what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> this is part of my world. <laughs> Day in the life. I'm the kind of person that's gonna go home and eat something else before you go to bed. Probably. I'll probably go home, edit a little bit. What are you gonna eat? What else is there to eat? Why am I eating ice cream with a fork? <laughs> Dumb. That's insane. I'll tell you one thing. Rich Jennifer's getting a fat tip. She was awesome. Oh my gosh, how you feeling? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'll tell you though, man, that fudge. That fudge was the best. Uh, thank you so Thanks much. Again. We'll be back. Thanks, yeah, you see as well. ya. Have a good one, See ya. Okay guys, so honestly, I don't feel that bad, but um, <laughs> I'm pretty full. So we completed the Golden Corral Challenge. We had to have had what? 5,000 calories at least. Easy. That dessert tray alone was probably a few thousand. The one thing I want to end this video with is at the beginning of the video, I poked fun at Golden Corral, right? Because, you know, it, I, I in my mind, it wasn't the nicest place. But I have to say, this is the best service that I have had bar none. I mean, Jennifer was the best waitress I could have ever asked for. So I will definitely be coming back to Golden Corral. And the food was fantastic. So. Highly encourage you guys to check it out. And we're gonna end the video right there. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could've been doing anything. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Guess what? What? I'm gonna eat when I get home. And in case anybody was wondering, we didn't go to Golden Corral. We went to BJ's and Valentina got her first taste of a Pazuki. So, it all worked out. Right? Right? Oh yeah. It just like melts in your mouth. Like what is that? <laughs> We're changing your life right now.